if you're looking for an affordable city that's going to give you an incredible quality of life with home values going up in the next three, five, 10 years from now, Azle, Texas might be in your future. Now, very rarely do I get into real estate prices right off the bat, especially as we might be looking at a real estate market correction. But even if there was a correction, Azle is just one of those cities that has some tremendous upside for personal living and also for real estate investing. So we're going to look at Azle's history, what it's like to live in Azle. We're also going to be talking about the affordability, the lifestyle in real estate, which is going to allow us to compare Azle to other cities in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. So if you've been thinking about moving to Azle or simply seeking a affordable suburb around the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, this video is for you because we're covering everything you need to know about Azle, Texas. And it starts by finding Azle on the map. Azle is located northwest of Fort Worth, and the primary road that connects Azle to the rest of the DFW Metroplex is Highway 199. So if you're trying to get to Fort Worth to check out the Fort Worth Botanic Garden, it's going to take you about 30 minutes. Now, if you need to get to Dallas to check out the George Bush Presidential Library and Museum, you're looking at about 55 minutes. And if you need to catch a flight at the DFW International Airport, you're looking at 40 minutes. Now, I share these frequently visited locations because if you're going to live in the Metroplex altogether, you're going to go to Fort Worth, you're going to go to Dallas, or you're going to catch a flight. So it's important to understand the commute. But to give you a better sense of the day-to-day -day commute, check out how far you can travel away from Azle within 30 minutes, which as you can see is ideal if you're trying to stay on the west side of the DFW Metroplex. So now that you know where in the world Azle, Texas even is, I wanna welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident. So if you can hit that like button, that's gonna really help us out. All right, now let's get back to Azle because this is what you came for. Azle is located in both Tarrant and Parker counties. Now it was first settled in the 1800s, but it wasn't formally incorporated as a city until 1957, which over those years, it was more of a rural community and didn't see much growth, even though Fort Worth was exploding in size. But as Fort Worth continues to expand, Azle has quickly become an attractive destination for those seeking a quiet place to call home within driving distance of downtown. To where now, present day, Azo is home to a diverse population of over 13,000 residents. Now, based off of the personal relationships that I have with builders all across the DFW area, it's been interesting speaking with them about all of the new communities going down in Azle. So that's why I'm so bullish on Azle altogether. And you're gonna see more examples of that shortly. All right, so to add some additional context to Azle as a whole, I wanna introduce to you Niche.com, which interprets millions of public data sets of cities all across the country. And it's given Azle a B grade, having aggregated the 12 categories you see on the screen, which is only part of the story as we also wanna hear from current and past Azle residents which have given Azo a four out of five stars factoring in 53 reviews and counting. Now this report on Azo is quite extensive, so I'm gonna leave it linked down below so you can check it out. Because now we need to talk about the recreation scene in Azo. The city of Azo has over 85 acres of parkland offering activities for everyone. This includes picnic pavilions for any family gatherings, playgrounds offer various features for any child, softball programs for adults, a pickleball court, which is very hot right now, and a wide variety of events for residents all throughout the year. And we of course must not overlook the Eagle Mountain Lake access which the lake is another big reason that I'm so bullish on Azo altogether, not only from a primary residence standpoint, but also as a real estate investment. But let's continue because we need to talk about the school system because regardless if you have kids or not, the school system matters because remember you're paying property taxes on that school system and it can impact the resale value of your home. The Azo Independent School District encompasses 95 square miles, including portions of Tarrant, Parker, and Wise Counties. Azo ISD educates almost 7,000 students across 12 campuses, which has had tremendous academic success with the 96% graduation rate, which far exceeds the regional and state averages. And it doesn't just stop there as Azo ISD students have a higher SAT and ACT average score which the success along with the population growth overall is one of the reasons that Azo ISD is growing so rapidly. 
Now, as a real estate agent, there's certain things that I'm not able to cover when it comes to the school system. So I'm going to leave a full report on ASO ISD down below. But what I am able to cover is a very important question, and that is, is there a Chick-fil-A in ASO? And unfortunately, there is not. So if you want your Chick-fil-A fix, you need to go down to Lake Worth or Fort Worth or White Settlement. All right, so I'm only half joking. The Chick-fil-A category is really more of a personal passion project. It might not be as important to you. But what might be important to you is the real estate in Azel. Because regardless, if you're a renter or a homeowner, real estate impacts your quality of life. So let's start off from a macro perspective to understand Azo real estate a little bit better. The typical home value of homes in Azo is $352,320. Now this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. Embrace for this, Azo home values have gone up 27.4% over the past year. Which as you can see in this 10 year chart, the home values were already growing pretty rapidly, but over the last 12 months, they absolutely exploded. Which brings me back to my earlier prediction of Azel and where it's going, because I see a lot of similarities between Azel and other cities that I'm very familiar with on the Fort Worth side. Azel reminds me so much of Crowley, Texas, which is south of Fort Worth. It also reminds me of Saginaw, which is north of Fort Worth. And it reminds me of Hazlitt because of all the new construction that went on across all three cities. Which if you've been following this channel with any regularity, you know that I'm super bullish on Crowley given that I've purchased several properties there myself. And every opportunity that I get, I'm looking at Saginaw and I'm looking at Hazlitt for my next real estate purchases. But now that we know Azel's median home value of $353,000, let's see how it stacks up to its neighboring cities. The Reno median home value is $363,000. The median home value in Fort Worth is $334,000. In Springtown, it's $407,000. In Sanctuary, it's $321,000. And the median home value in Newark is $307,000. So in other words, the median home value in Azo is right in between all of its neighbors. But at this point, that median home value may not do much for you because there's no context as to the size of a home that you can purchase for that price range. So I wanna show you what roughly $353,000 buys you in Azo. Now, all of the homes that you just saw are available for sale in Azo right now. However, by the time you're watching this video, chances are that they've already sold. So for our updated preferred homes list in Azo, check out the link down below. And to calculate your monthly mortgage, you're going to want to watch this video that shows you how to do that, which is mandatory viewing if you're coming in from out of state because I want to prep you for the property taxes in Texas, which are among some of the highest in the country. So please be prepared. And remember the trade-off that in Texas, you don't have state income taxes, which is a great segue into the cost of living which is overall 6% less than the national average. And from a housing perspective, it's actually 27% less. Now, from a utilities perspective, you are paying more by 10%. Groceries is about even. And from a transportation perspective, you're paying about 7% less than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Azo is perfect. This is the place for me. If that's you, I invite you to connect with our top realtors down below. However, if you're still on the fence, that is okay. I want to give you two comparable cities. I want you to check out Saginaw, and I also want you to take a look at Kennedale. And although I probably shouldn't do this because I'm going to get in trouble, I just know I will, I want to share with you a little secret. There's actually a city in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex that charges you $0, yes, $0 in property taxes. And that city's located between... <laughs> 